Hi, I'm Paris, and summer is starting early in Texas this year. It's supposed to be 90 degrees out this afternoon. So the last time I was at the store, this caught my eye. It's the EnduraCool cooling towel. It has some magical properties that when you get it wet and you snap it a few times, put it on your skin, it's supposed to drop skin temperature by about 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, that's not bad for $15, but this cost a dollar. Can it do the same thing? Sometimes fancy and high-tech really is amazing. Sometimes it's just a way to sell you something expensive that you could actually do the same thing with an item you already have at home. Now this is supposed to be a special material that will evaporate the water very quickly, but it's supposed to not block the infrared radiation that your skin gives off. So in other words, if you have this on you, even if it's wet and evaporating and cooling you down, the fact that this material is on you is reflecting heat back to your body and keeping you warm. So you have those opposing forces. Supposedly, this doesn't send the heat back to your body, and so it can actually keep you much cooler. I picked it up for about $15 over at Fry's. They have tons of colors and patterns and designs for this towel. You can find out more about it at the link down below this video. Now, whether you're a parent or a child, you've probably experienced evaporative cooling where you get something wet when the water changes from liquid form to gaseous form, it takes some heat with it as it leaves the object and so there's cooling. And a face cloth folded this way and this way and dipped in a bowl and put on your forehead when you have a fever is probably something almost everyone's experienced. So, does this work significantly better so that it's worth spending the money for this? Now, it looks like, kind of feels like a chamois cloth you use to um, do that final finishing touch when you're waxing your car. Very sporty looking, and no way you're going to misplace it with it being this color. The other side looks like this. It doesn't seem to have the raised bit of material that a chamois has, and man, is it thin. It feels like a single layer of clothing. I wonder if it inflates when you put water in it and gets thicker, because otherwise I don't see how it's going to hold much water to last very long. It seems like you'd need to continually re-dip it. So I'm going to get these both wet, wring them both out. I guess I'll snap this one just for good measure, and then uh, put it on my skin and give you the subjective experience of which one's cooler, as well as the objective experience using my infrared thermometer. Then I'll go out this afternoon when it's 90, give them both a try. In here it is 73 degrees with 51% humidity. Humidity does make a difference to either of these. Even if this is magical, if you have high humidity, you're not gonna get nearly as much evaporation. And the instructions for the EnduraCool cloth say to machine wash this in cold water before first use. So I'm gonna throw them both in a quick load and I'll be back to try them out. I have both fresh from the washing machine, both still damp. I've turned off the ceiling fan in this room and the temperature is 73 degrees, now at 46% humidity. And I can tell you I did notice right away when I pulled them out of the washing machine, this feels colder. Let me see if there's some evidence to support that. 66 degrees, 70 degrees. So there is a small difference just in the surface temperature of each of these items. Interesting. But for full effect with the EnduraCool, you need to get it wet, wring it out, and then snap it three to five times, put it down for a minute and wait, and then it should be at its very coldest and able to cool you down the most. So here we go, back in the water. This water is room temperature. It's about 72 degrees from the kitchen. This, by the way, did not fluff up from getting wet. So I don't know how much water it's gonna hold on to. So I have wrung it out and it's snapping time. And set it here. And then I'll do the same with the face cloth. Snap it as well. Give them both a minute, check the temperature, and then I'm gonna try them on me. All right, they should be at maximum coolness. Let's check out the Endura Cool first. 69 degrees. Surface is really, isn't that cool? 71 degrees, still a slight difference between them. I'm now going to put both of them over my arm here. 90, 89. So we know what we're working with there. I'm going to take this. Does it matter which side I use? I don't suppose. Green side looks cooler. I'm going to put the green side on the skin here. 
and face cloth up here. They both feel cool, but to make my skin surface temperature 30 degrees cooler means it should show up at about 60 degrees once I take this off and measure it. So take both off. 89, 87. Yeah, I didn't think this was making as good a surface contact and I do have the issue of having some hair. Um, where else can I test this? Well, let's try a subjective test. Let me snap them out and try a subjective test on the neck. This does feel much cooler after the snapping. Pretty similar. I found a flat, hairless spot to try this out on. Right here. Let me get an original temperature here. Don't shine it in the eyes. 94 degrees. Okay, let's see how much I can reduce it. Just like when you're sick, taking a cloth, wet cloth, putting it on the forehead. Ah, it's cool. I'll hold it so it's pressing against the skin. And I'll give it a minute and then I'll take a temperature. I see squirrels in the yard looking at me like... <sighs> okay, here we go. 86 degrees. Well, we do have a noticeable reduction in temperature, but it's 8 degrees, not the 30 degrees in cooling that can happen. Let's see what the face cloth can do. Okay. 92. 92 and a half. Okay, let's see. 86 degrees. So both of these reduced my temperature to 86. This one from 94, this one from 92. Still very similar. I'm formulating a theory about this which I'll be able to test out shortly when we get to 90 degrees outside. All right, here's my attempting to be scientific, but probably not so scientific test of the Enduro Cool Cloth outdoors when it's hot. How hot is it? I'm getting a temperature reading of 86 with a fairly low humidity of 36%. I'm going to try both of these out on each side of my neck and see which one seems cooler. Yes, I'm sitting out on my front porch, people walking by wondering what I am doing. It's snapping time. Let me get them both wet. Bowl of water has been outside here for about 10-15 minutes, but it still feels like the water is pretty cool. Quick temperature check. 73.9. 71.7. Couple degrees cooler. What's the temperature of my neck anyway? I feel like I'm giving myself a shot in the futuristic Star Trek days. McCoy says I'm 95.0. All right. Nice and cool. Same, I think. Feels like most of the cooling that's going to happen has happened. 89. 91. Very similar to what I experienced indoors. So what's going on and how can this really drop your temperature 30 degrees? Well, here's what I think. This is going to have that sort of major effect when you are hot in addition to it being hot out. I think this really is when you're doing sports and you've increased your temperature, you're giving off heat. You're probably out in the sun, so you have the sun on you and the air temperature is up at 100 to 110 degrees. I imagine your skin temperature could get up to like 120. And if that's the case, you take something like this, put it on the skin, I could see it very rapidly and temporarily bringing the skin temperature down to about 90 degrees, which is what's normal. But it's only gonna have that kind of drastic effect when you yourself are overheated, it can bring you back down to normal. It's not going to take me sitting here in the shade with a 98.6 temperature and drop my skin temperature down to 60 or 70 degrees. The other question of whether it's worth spending $15 for this or a dollar for this, the results don't seem to be too different. I didn't see that special infrared pass-through technology where this allows the heat of your body to radiate out or this one traps it in. There's only a couple degrees difference between the cooling that the two of these provide. However, do you want to be seen out on the tennis court, out on the golf course, 
with this wrapped around your neck or this. You can find out more about the Enduro Cool at the link down below this video. I will not link to the face cloth. You can find these anywhere. You can keep checking back for videos reviewing products that can keep you cool this summer, or you can click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up. See you on the next review.